Yo YouTube, what is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel, man. I hope you guys are having an awesome day or night, man. In today's video, we're gonna be going over a color grading tutorial. I'm working on this music video currently right now, and the grade I did for it was just super dope, and I wanted to share it with you guys so you guys can have it, or do this color grade in the future for your future projects. So I wanted to go for a more sepia look. It doesn't look exactly like sepia, but it has that type of vibe. So yeah, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to achieve that look in Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's head over to the computer and get started. So this is the footage or the clip that I'm going to be doing this color grade on. As you can see, I already have the grade on here. So I'm going to cut it off so you guys can see what the uh, actual footage looks like. That's not color graded. That's with the color grade. So boom, boom. All right, I'm just going to take this off of here and this off of here. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go to effects and then I'm going to type in black and white. And you can do this in the, in the metric tab, but... I just drag on black and white for this specific color grade. Drag that on, you already have, you have a desaturated clip. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into curves and then I'm gonna open up my scopes. All right, cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set a point for my midtones, shadows, and highlights. And then I'm going to bring up my midtones a little bit and then bring down my shadows. You usually wanna go for the zero point, so I try to drag it down there, but usually I just eye it. Um, I usually I just eyeball it, so it's not really a big deal to me. I'm gonna bring my highlights up just a little bit. That looks good to me. That looks dope. All right, cool. All right, so now once you have everything, you put your contrast in there. Uh, I'm gonna do some basic corrections too, just to make sure we got everything desaturated. I'm gonna bring down the saturation, bring down the blacks just a little bit. Highlights, I wanna kind of boost those. Cause I was shooting with a, um, with the dream filter so i kind of want to emphasize those highlights a little bit so i'm gonna bring up the highlights just a little bit and that's what we got right there so pretty simple stuff now all you do is go to your color wheels and match tab and then go to your shadows we're going to be doing shadows and highlights in this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag this more towards the yellow side like that that looks good to me let's see yeah that looks dope that looks perfect and then I'm gonna go to my highlights and I'm gonna basically do the same thing. Just add a little bit of yellow into the highlights. Obviously you don't wanna go too intense with it because if you go too intense with it, it just looks crazy. I'm gonna reset this and then I'm just gonna put a little bit of highlights or yellows in the highlights, so. And that's looking, that's looking dope. That's looking dope to me. I think I wanna add a little bit more contrast. Just a little bit and then yeah, that looks super dope to me. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a vignette on this clip. So we wanna go more this way. I'm gonna bring it all the way down. That's what, so I can see what the feather looks like. So boom. And then I'm gonna put it like right there. And that's looking dope, man. Um, I'm gonna adjust these, this really quick. Bring up this a little bit. And what this is uh, basically doing, when you drag this bottom point down, it's just, and if you drag it up, it just fades your clip like that. So honestly, that looks pretty dope too to me, personally. I think that looks pretty cool, but um, that wasn't the look I was going for. I wanted to have a little bit more contrast. So fade, bring that up just a little bit. And that's looking sick, man. That's looking dope. So honestly, you don't have to have this black and white. Like I said, you can just do it in Lumetri. Like if I turn it off, it doesn't it doesn't change anything. So honestly, you could just delete black and white off of there. Yeah, you could just do black. You could do you could do the black and white. What did he say? Hey. Oh. And desaturate your clip in the actual Lumetri tab and color tab. So, so yeah, guys, that is pretty much it for this tutorial, man. I knew with this music video in specific that I wanted to do something like a sepia color grade, um, something desaturated, but I wanted to have some slight yellows in the shadows and the highlights. And this is what I ended up coming up with. So. Super stoked on how it turned out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial and end up doing this color grade on your music videos. This isn't a color grade that I would use on every single music video. It's really just the vibe you're going for for your music video and this color grade fit this video perfectly. So um, I rolled with this one and it looks super dope and I'm super stoked on how it turned out. Yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. Make sure you guys crush that like button. Drop me a comment down in the comment section and let me know what are some projects that you are currently working on. Make sure you guys click that notification bell to get notifications when I upload to this channel. Yeah guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace!